Today in CB750K projects, I go ahead and <laughs> remove a metal octopus. Seriously though, today, pulling these old pipes off, we're gonna put on a mystery pipe. Ooh. Oh, damn it. Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Mike Barker and today, we're pulling these exhaust pipes, which are clearly not hot at this moment, off of my 74 Honda CB750K. Let's get to it. First though, a little bit of backstory. So I picked this bike up two years ago and it had this gnarly four into one pipe. I think it's a Mac maybe, but it's so rusty, it's hard to tell now. Something else though that I should point out first. So for those of you out there who are familiar with this bike, you're gonna notice something right off the get go. This is a 1974. However, these pipes are from a 77 or a 78. They're the wrong pipes for this bike to start with. The interesting thing though is, I don't think you're supposed to be able to mount these pipes to this cylinder head using the system that they have. It looks like they used the early model spigot type connection and flanges with the later model pipes. You can see that there's been a little bit of uh, exhaust blow by. I'm suspecting that something has been cobbled together in here. So here's the very first thing that we have to do. These flanges have to come off. These earlier style flanges just have a bolt that runs through them. Now to me, they look like a 12 millimeter, so let's go ahead and try that first. Okay, 12 millimeter. Perfect. All right, so the next, holy crap. Can you tell I'm in Canada? Ooh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not chain smoking over here or anything either. So the next thing is gonna be actually disconnecting some of the, the bolt and the hardware that hold the exhaust onto the frame of the bike. I'm gonna start by removing the number three cylinder exhaust pipe. So these two bolts that are on the bracket at the back of the frame are 12 millimeter. I'm gonna use a ratcheting wrench that I have for this because I think it'll fit up there and give me enough room to zing those out. These are nuts. If I said they were bolts earlier, I apologize. It looks like I also have to remove the nut that holds the number four cylinder pipe on as well. Oh, there we go. Just use your 12 millimeter wrench, come in from the top. Oh, those are both free. Let's see if I can wiggle these out from the front. It's coming loose. Oh, look at that, it's been leaking bad. Oh, they hacked it apart. Whoop. So I'm kind of using my foot at the back on the tire here because pulling forward with it on the center stand, with me pulling forward on this, I don't want the whole bike to come forward on me, so just kind of put a little pressure back there, and keep an eye on it. Not a lot of manipulation happened here anyway. I can't believe they cut those. Oh! The next step in this obviously is the exhaust pipes on the number one and the number two cylinder have to come off. So basically you're just repeating the process from the other side. And listen, I started with the number three and four pipes, but you don't have to. Start with number one and two, start with three and four, whatever you wanna do. See how black that is? That's had a nasty exhaust leak for a long, long time. All because they were cheap and had to hack apart the 77, 78 pipes to make them work on this one. One thing I will mention here, put the kickstand down to remove the uh, number two cylinder pipe. Ah, and with that done, let's get that last pipe off. There's not as much room to wiggle this one though because you're up against the kickstand mount and the bracket at the back of the muffler. Huh, this is not going well. I've been struggling with that last pipe for who knows how long. This is gonna be a heck of a lot easier if I take this bracket off. So what I've got going on is 17 millimeter 3 8 drive socket and then a 19 millimeter wrench just on the back on the nut.
I didn't really want the foot pegs anymore anyway. Ah, finally! Oh, what a miserable s that is. The next thing that's gonna happen is now we've gotta remove those spigots that are bolted to the cylinder head. These things are notorious for being just frozen in there. God knows the last time they were taken apart. I've never had them off, so this could be interesting. But what I'm gonna do first, I think, is I'm gonna spray a little bit of uh, PB blaster on them. I'm gonna go in the house for a little while, let it sit, and then I'm, uh, I'm gonna come out and go at it with the impact. It'll probably make everything easier, right? What could go wrong? It's been a couple of hours. It's time to see if we can drive those bolts out of that cylinder head. See how this goes. As you can probably see, I've gone ahead and removed all the spigots. So the spigot setup is used on the 69 through 76 CB750Ks. They did away with this in 77, 78. 78 was the last of the single overhead cams. These spigots, this JIS or Phillips head looking screw, these do not come out easy. So I use my impact driver to get a couple of them started. The impact driver doesn't really help you though on the ones that are inside on the number two and the number three cylinders. So what I had there was I actually had this screwdriver setup that I made work. So this screwdriver has a hole through it that I put this through. So I put lots of leverage in on the screw with this and then turn the other screwdriver back to loosen them up. And amazingly, amazingly, almost all of them came out that way, except for the very last one. The very last one, was mangled. I mangled it. it. It was stripping when I tried the screwdriver method. I couldn't get the impact driver in there. It was just a mess. So here's what I mean by mangling the screw head. Can you focus on that camera? Totally mangleized. Yes. A trick that I'll do sometimes is I'll take a punch and I'll punch a little dimple, a little hole in the screw because I didn't really care about reusing these screws. They're a terrible setup. I'll dimple the screw though and then I'll put a chisel in and actually use a hammer and knock into the chisel to kind of get the screw moving in the direction that I want it to. That didn't work. Just by luck, I went back to the screwdriver setup again, drove this in, gave it a couple taps with a hammer on the back end to make sure it was seated really well, and I started to turn on it, and wouldn't you know it, it spun out. I was lucky. You may have to resort to using torch on these. You might have to drill them out. What you could do though, if you had to drill them out, is once you've got it drilled out, use your welder or your friend's welder, and actually weld a little tab on there or weld a nut onto the end of the stud, and then see if you can turn it out. I've had lots of good luck extracting bolts like that. Your mileage may vary. This is the only part of this video that you could struggle with, being totally honest with you. So now I have a motorcycle with no exhaust. Or do I? When I bought this motorcycle, it came with this mystery four into one header, as you can see here. Oh, look at that. I'm pretty sure that this is a Mac system. Regardless, it came for free with the bike. I'm going to give this a go. See what it sounds like. Why not? So I'm about ready to mock up the new pipe, the new to me pipe. And I just happen to have a bucket of these Allen head cap screws, which are fantastic for working with. Again, keeping this project low buck, I'm gonna use these. Had a bag of washers left over from another project. These things are gonna work. Now, you'll notice I didn't put any new copper crush washers in here. That's because I'm just mocking this pipe up. Really, I just want to crack the throttle and make rap rap noises. But I'm gonna put these on, and when I put them on, I just kinda snug them up a little bit by hand, and then I'll come back and make sure they're cinched on there pretty good. I think we're ready to make some rap rap noises. Before firing up your motorcycle with no exhaust, make sure you have two things. One, the garage door is open. Two. Well, pretty sure I just pissed off all the neighbors, but that's all part of the motorcycling experience, right? So I do plan to get a, a like a shorty muffler off Dime City Cycles or from Cone Engineering, although Cone Engineering probably makes the one on Dime City Cycles. 
Gonna get myself one of those, put it on there. That'll be another video. Thanks a lot for tuning in, guys. Don't forget, it helps me out a ton. If you like the video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. I will have more awesome motorcycling fun in the future. Winter is full of motorcycle improvement projects, man. Catch you guys in the next one, later on. Mm-hmm. <laughs>